One. Boo, 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 boo. Boo. We back. And yes, we back. I'm KG as TG. This is F O E. Football over everything. Episode 26. How you feeling, Tishan? Ah, now I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling it. It it feels amazing. We in episode 26, bro. Um, Women's World Cup just just um rounded off. Yes, it um, is. we've been speaking about it for some time, and I don't want to say I don't want to sound cocky, dog, but I called it, man. I called the <laughs> damn Women's World Cup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I called it. I said Spain was gonna win. Spain won. Get, get bro. your flowers. Talk your talk, man. Talk your talk about Spain doing the things against England, man. The thing is, like, I watched. I watched the first half. I didn't watch the entire game. I watched the first half, yeah. and it was it was overall a tight game. Overall, it was it was a a very very tight game. One goal winner. One goal winner. Um, Spain scored like in the twenty ninth minute, and then um kind of defended throughout the game. They Great game management. They they did their thing, man. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Spain. Um, yeah. You're gonna be they, around they, the bush. They, You're gonna be around the bush. Yeah. You're gonna be around the bush. Okay, I'll say it. I'll jump off. I'll jump off. Okay, listen. Bad final. Bad final. Bad final. We've been talking about the World Cup. Finally getting into it. And enjoying the games and like actual entertaining games in beautiful goals, like actually getting into women's football more. All eyes are on this final. It's a final. We've been, we've been, they impressed us. They won us over in a way. We were sleeping on them. And then for it to end like that, TG, man, for it to end in that manner, you'd, you'd prefer like a 3-2. It's a final. I know they got Dog. the job done. They, they, but it's a final, man. It's a final. I, wa- I wanted to, um, I, wa- I wanted to sound, I wanted to just give them some credit, dog. It was the first women's final I've ever watched. I didn't yeah. want to be like, you know what? This was a trash final. <laughs> I, I just wanted to, like, I just wanted to come in nice, you know? <laughs> no, nah, man. Like, uh, uh. It, they just won me over, you know? I've been talking to people about women's football. I've been like, yo, you got to watch the final. Yo, you got to do A, B, and C. Yo, whoop the whoop, you know? And then for it, it's anticlimactic. Let me say that. Let's just say it. it's anticlimactic. But, nah, I think know? it was. It was. It was. It was very anticlimactic, dog. But nonetheless, shout out to Spain. Um, winners of the World Cup. It's it's a big one. It's 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 a real big one. So shout out to Spain, man. Shout out to that women's team. Shout out to Spain. You know, England just can't get the job done. You know, women's male, they just the uh, the it's never coming home. <laughs> I don't know why I like taking shots at England. <laughs> it's never coming home. But they did win the, the Euros and they could win the Euros now. But yeah, man, England just they're getting closer and closer though. They're getting closer. Um let's 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 get it. Let's get into it, man. Episode 26. You already know the chats. Favorite player to win number 26. Let's keep the tradition, man. Let's keep the tradition Ooh. going. Favorite player. Favorite best player to win. Best player to win number, number 26. Yeah. Oh man. Best player, dog. Who you got? Who you got? Dog, that's a that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. Dog, like I, every episode, it just gets a bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah. Like one to pass. 18, 12. Once you start getting in the 20s and the 30s, it's, it, it's getting tricky. We have to like eventually reset it or something fresh and new because once we start reaching like 30, 40, it's just gonna be like, yo, man, what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a it's a it's a tough one. Um the one that I can think of off the top, dog, is two players. Okay. So I'm not sure who's better between the two, right? Mm. But I'm gonna say Mares. Marius is the best player to wear number 26. Okay, respect. And I think respect. I could be wrong if I said Terry wore number 26. I don't really remember correctly. Which Terry are you speaking about now? Don Terry, I'm... dog, from Chelsea. Listen, that's the only right answer for me. John Terry. I mean, club captain, centre back, traditional. You know, we, we got to give it to John Terry. I, I'm so... Uh, I actually forgot Marcus with number 26. You actually surprised me with the Marcus one. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy one, dog. Marcus was the first player that actually came to 
came to my head, bro. I'm looking at at the list now of like the, the players, and nah, it's for me. It, it has to be Terry too, bro. That's so we we agreeing with John Terry, best player to ever wear number twenty six. Hey yo, man, very people don't speak about him enough anymore, but he was a solid centre back, traditional captain. That's what I like, you know. I don't like giving Chelsea flowers. I don't like Chelsea, but captain, traditional English centre back. Shout out John Terry, man. I gotta give it to him. Shout, shout out, shout out to Terry, man. Best player to ever wear number twenty six. That 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 was an easy one. I'm I'm happy we agreed, <laughs> dog. That was an easy one. You can't fight John Terry, man. You can't fight John Terry. Just like a overall, just the one, you know. Unless we say who Robertson. <laughs> Robertson, nah. Davis, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The let, Henderson, I'm going to do it. I'm like, what? No way. Let's man. just stick with Terry, dog. Let's stick with Terry. <laughs> you want to take us there? This is the big one. I, I, I want to take us there. So, the topic of discussion today is hectic. Who do you think is going to be the most influential transfers to to their team for this season? For this season, not not the best, mm. not the best, not the most expensive. Just who's going to be the most influential transfers to their team for this season? Yeah, man, I was thinking about this in the morning, and I was like, I'm gonna start it off with a one that might surprise people, but I think it's a big one. Neymar. Neymar going to um excuse me, I don't know that I pronounce the club's name properly. What is it? Al- El Hilal. I, I think it's El Hilal. El, El Hilal. So. El Hilal. Yeah. Um this one is big, man. We're speaking about golden player generation. We're speaking about the guy. And he's still in his prime. How old is his name? At 30 or 29? 31. 81, this is his prime years and he decided to go to Saudi. And I feel like this is just, he's going to, I'm a Cristiano fan, so look, we have to watch Saudi football now. <laughs> that, that league is looking crazy. That league is looking crazy. Let's, let's not even lie. That league is looking crazy. Um, I think it's going to be really exciting just to watch to watch that but I think to attract the player of Neymar's quality bro like okay. that's that's wild that, that's wild that's wild that's why I had to just definitely put him in my number 5 and just be like look man we gotta watch the Saudi league attacking Neymar in his prime this is his prime years they took Benzema in his prime years they're really building something that side and of course money talks but they, they, they're doing it the right way they're attacking they're getting the right players and not one club is, is getting um all the stars. So Neymar is just huge, man. I know people, Barca fans like you, I was speaking to him and they were like really emotional. They were like, wow, we can't believe. We thought it was compared to Barcelona or something. And just the caliber of a player like Neymar in his prime is just, it's crazy to me. Yeah, that that that's a crazy one, dog. And I think it's going to be really exciting just seeing the, those big names. Because like, at least four or five Saudi clubs has big names yep. in their in their team, dog. So that's gonna be who's in the peak of his career. That yep. that he has the he has Europe at at his feet now. If he stayed, bro, Messi's out yeah. the picture. Ronaldo's out the picture. Like you can step up now. You know what I'm saying? But like he chose not to, and I think it just shows lack of ambition from Neymar overall, bro. Lack of ambition, and. He, his, his career has been going downhill since he left Barca. And every sing, single season you hear um, rumors, Neymar's going to return back to Barca. But, like, it never, ever happens. It never takes shape. Mm. And I've... Dog, like, I'm so done with, like, the whole Neymar thing. It's like, <laughs> I'm I'm hurt and I'm sad. But, like, I'm also done at the same time. It's just, like... He's, he's just that player that, like, so much potential could be one of the best players ever if if he reached his full potential. But, like... Man, I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, man. Okay, let's just get into it. You know, I've been... Suarez is better, but, you know, that's a conversation for another day. Uh, get into your number five, man. <laughs> Bro, um, my, 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 my choice I went with is um, Declan Rice. I think Rice Ooh. is going to be super influential to Arsenal this season. Yep. I think he's going to... I think he's what they need, to be honest. And... Just they they need someone in the midfield that's that's strong, that's confident, 
that can pick a pass, that can be box to box, that can do everything. Rice just doesn't look like he's gonna fold during a game. You know what I'm saying? A big and game. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. I think you know what Arsenal you're gonna need get. something like that. They need something like that, man. I know, like they losing Jaka and like it's it's a big one to lose Jaka, but big like one. I think Rice overall, man, he's just. I think he's gonna take Arsenal to that next level. I don't know what that next level is, but <laughs> I think right Rice is definitely gonna take Arsenal to that next level. Just like he's he's gonna make their midfield very competitive. Nah, true. Plus, it's him, it's him, and Odegaard. They, it's yeah. It's, I I totally agree, man. I totally agree with the whole Rice thing. You know, Rice party. A lot is happening in that midfield. Odegaard, Odegaard has but like a food name or like. Something to link party rice and Odegaard. It's just, you know, it's, it's a nice trio. I like it. It is. It is. I hate it. They're going to be competitive. But let me tell you about my one. Go for it. Jude Bellium is my number four. In fact, this, in fact, I don't like saying number four. I don't like putting um a number on it. A number on it. Let's just say... He could win the Ballon d'Or the way he's playing right now. I'm going to repeat that again. Jude Bellingham could win the Ballon d'Or the way he's playing right now. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. This is how good not, he uh... is. This is how amazing he is. And Real Madrid getting him for the price they got him. Obviously, there's add-ons included. And it's, it looks like a bargain at this point because the numbers right now that are flying in this market are ridiculous. <laughs> It's I crazy. Agree with that. It's going down, and I feel like, man, Jude Bellingham, just keep him fit in that Madrid team. It's going to be dangerous. I just like him, man. He rocked that number five, Zidane. I think it's really, he's going to be influential. He fits the Madrid yeah. mole. He, he has the identity. It's just, it's Hala Madrid. Hala Madrid, man. Who's, who's your the thing? The thing is, one? like, the thing is, dog, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my 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 next one right now, dog. But I la think, Madrid, a la Madrid. That's not firstly. I, I hate Madrid, bro. Like I hate this team with a passion. I hate them so much. But like Jude, he's just bro. This this boy is oozing confidence. You can see it in the way he plays. You can see it. He he has that look. You know, he has that look in his face. It's like you said, he can win a ball on door, bro. He's not far off Haaland or Mbappe. He's just he's he's that good. He's that good. He's that good. He's that good. Uh, Real Madrid are going to cook that much. I, I believe it's going to be hard to deny him a ballon d'or. He's going to be in the gonna, conversation. Gonna be he's going to be in the conversation. He's going to be in the conversation. To. He's going he to has to. If he continues this way, he has to be in it, man. Like, I think he's going to escape that, like, best one of the best midfielders in the world and just, yeah. like, jump in one of the best players in the world right now. So, shout out to Jude. Um, Sad to see him play for Madrid, but shout out to Jude. Wow. Um, wow. My next one, bro, is one that I think has been coming. I think it's been coming. And I think it's time for Harry Kane to win trophies, man. Harry yeah. Kane is going to win trophies this season. I looked at that Bayern team and they don't have much to offer on the bench, to be honest. <laughs> and if everyone stays, but their starting 11 is really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. If they can keep that starting 11 fit, bring in a, a few more players, I feel like they can go all the way, win a treble. Because, like, I want to see Kane do that. I'm not even lying. I want to see Kane Big win the time. Champions League. Big I want to see him smash the Bundesliga records. This man is going to score goals galore in the Bundesliga, man. Let me be real with you. Like, he's such a complete striker. In a debut, goal and assist. Come on. Like, which which striker can do something like that? Come on. Kane is only, complete. Only, only a few, Tishan. Only a few, man. If I can jump in for a minute, like, I'm happy for Kane too. It's finally, we've been... For years we've been doubting does he want it? Does he does it does he does he have that craving of being the best in the world? Does he want to win Champions League or have a shot at winning it? How much does he love the game? And right now we can see it in his face and his whole demeanor that Harry Kane is hungry. He wants hungry, trophies. Bro. He He's wants hungry. to compete with the best. He wants to prove that I've been the best and y'all been denying me. And now I'm gonna go to buy and smash all the records. And I think this is really good for Bayern because I feel like they've been slacking off with quality wise they've been dipping mm -hmm. and I feel like Harry Kane is just gonna gonna stabilize them and be like hey if I'm I'm one of the best in the world and this is Bayern and let's show people that like hey this is it this is us we're going for let's Champions go. League 100 yeah, bro 100 and I think I think it shows so much ambition from Kane Kane is 30 right Neymar's 31 
Like you can see the difference in ambition, bro. Neymar can technically technically the same age, bro. And yeah, yeah. one's yeah, making a big move to Bayern, one is going to Saudi, dog. So it sh- it shows that competitive nature of Kane already. He had to, he had to. to uh, well, I'm gonna give. I can't believe I'm giving Neymar bail. Look, Neymar has been the star boy since 16, 17. Harry Kane is different. You know, the the pressure oh, is different. So that's the only part where I'm gonna actually give him some leeway and bail. <laughs> All I keep on saying bail. I, I'm just thinking of Garrett at that point. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna go to the next one. I think. Madison going to Tottenham. Speaking yeah. about Kane, I think for me that's my th- my third. Technically, he's going to cook. He's gonna be that that the way Tot. I can't look the United game. I don't think is a fair representation as a Manchester United fan. We should have won. We should have scored at least two goals, but didn't happen. They didn't give us a penalty, but it's fine. But you know, Madison's just. I think like the same thing of Harry Kane goes to Madison. Big club, big opportunity, big time player. He's been snubbed for England. We've been doubting him. A lot of question marks, but I feel like he's going to step up. He's going to be really influential for that Spurs team, man. Yeah, no, I, I can't fight that, dog. I, I see I see Madison doing... And the thing is, he fits so nicely in Spurs as yeah. a whole. So I I think that's like the perfect move for him, dog. Just um staying, staying on the Premier League in terms of midfielders, dog. I don't know how Newcastle were able to do this. But I think Sandro Tonali is going to flourish this season, man. I, I just think he is. I think he's going to be so influential in that in that midfield. I think he brings so much, man. Honestly, like in his position, he's one of the best in the world. And for Newcastle to get him is, is a statement signing, man, to yep. be honest. Big statement. Biggest one. The biggest one. Newcastle will no way. Newcastle win the league. TC, how you feel? Newcastle to win the, 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 the whole league, the whole everything. <laughs> that one, <laughs> that one, that one, that one is a, maybe a conversation for another day, dog. Yeah. Um, but man, Newcastle's reminding me of, of City, like when they just started. You know, when City yeah. brought in David Silva, Aguero, when they were just starting, dog. That's what Newcastle's reminding me about. Yeah, now nah, that's a big one, man. It's a big signing. Um, I'm I'm afraid I'm becoming really afraid of Newcastle right now. And um yo, my next one is gonna be controversial. But I think he's gonna be influential for good reasons or bad. Right? The key word here is influential. So don't judge me. Money mount, Mason Mount to Manchester United. <laughs> United fans, United fans, talk to me. Talk, talk, talk <laughs> Look, to me. He's either going to make Eric the Mr. Heisenberg look like a genius or he's going to make him lose his job. This might make him oh. break his, 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 his <laughs> stay at Manchester United, him getting Mason Mount. Because every most people are looking at it and like, how is Mason Mount going to work for Manchester United? He didn't look like a starting 11 player for Chelsea. How is he going to adapt to Manchester United? In the past, yeah. look, Manchester United fans, the past two games have been very hectic for us. Wolves game was horrendous. Uh, Casemiro, <clears throat> question marks around him, but I'm giving him time. I still have faith in Casemiro. Still 31. I think he still has the legs, but he just doesn't look, doesn't look in shape. Mason Mount, him running. Mason Mount was looking like John Cena for the last two games. You just see someone running. You know, passes, carrying the ball. Sometimes you don't see him at all. Like he, if he was, if you say John Cena is in the pitch, I'll be like, wow, I see him. I see my day of Mason Mount. I see John Cena, and I can't see him in so the ma- pitch. So I gave him that name. Mason Mount is like John Cena. He's he's like your wild card, bro. It's like it's either this is gonna be signing <laughs> of the season, or it's gonna completely tremble the entire squad. The whole thing to shut because the way we're playing with Money Mount in, it really gives Casemiro such a tough job. And I'm not giving Casemiro any bail because he's been bad. He says has not been looking at Casemiro. But like Money, look, he presses. Once he presses, it's him and basically Rashford. We're trying to get the ball back. Once people beat the press, 
Bruno's just missing. He's not really a good pairing with Mason Mount. Bruno's basically not there. The, we Beating our press is so easy. It's not working. We're like basically trying to be like Liverpool. My best way to explain it. But then we don't have... Bruno can't be playing that position, if, if, I'm, if I'm making sense. Because Wolves just... Mm-hmm. They just ran us over and then Tottenham... I'm not giving Casemiro bail, United fans. Yes, Casemiro's been very bad. But then the way we're pressing right now is just not looking good. But hey, Mason Mount, we, keyword is influential here. Keyword is influential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keyword is found influential. The loophole, found the loophole too. Um, talk, talk, talking about influential players, man, and we've seen it last night. Um, I think Gunuan's going to be really influ- influential to Barca season, man. Yeah. I think... I think he's what we need. We need one. We need the experience. We need his experience. Uh, we need his winning mentality. And Big like time. when in tough games like that, that that we have in, we need someone like him to pick out the pass. We need someone like him to step up. And I think he's gonna be super influential going forward into that season, man. So yeah. Yeah, Kunwan. Uh I, I we already mentioned Kane. Kane was gonna be my number one. I'm thinking now which player can I mention that I I want to say Casero, but I don't really yeah. feel it. Uh, who, 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 who else? Who else can I put? I, I, I don't know. Which which other which other team had like good transfers? Dog, my my number five was um Samu Chukwesi to AC Milan. I think Chukwesi's been super super slept on. I think he's been one of the best midfield uh, wingers in La Liga in general over the, over his span, and I think him moving to AC Milan is gonna be crazy. Him and Liao on the wings are going to run teams insane. Yeah. Bro. Nah. Nah, you spitting right They're going to run teams insane, man. I think Chukwesi is one of the best buys this season. And he's going to be so influential to AC Milan. Like, that's that that's that, that's my pick for my top five. Yeah, I think AC Milan doing really good business with the money they got from the... Um, um, Tonali. Um, yeah, the Tonal deal. And they're really impressive. They're really looking good. Syria are... Look, man, I keep saying this. La Liga might be going down. Serie A is going up, though. <laughs> we, we never know. We, ne- we never. It's and it's looking like that. Honestly, it is looking like that, bro. Um, any any other players in mind? I have one more, but I want to give you the floor quickly. Now nah, I'm drowning right now. I don't want to say Casero because <laughs> I I don't. I, mean, I could say him because technically the money, but then like we yeah. saying influential for the team. I. Look, I don't know, man. I don't know if he's gonna click on like that with them. Um, now nah, I honestly don't have anyone else. I don't want to lie. I don't have anyone. Else. I, I want to see Chelsea fail. I, I that brings me joy. Chelsea, Chelsea's been spending a ridiculous amount of money, and nothing's reflecting, dog. But I think one just like like as an extra, I think Fran Garcia to Real Madrid. Real Madrid's been lacking on the left back side. And I think Fran Garcia is going to give them so much on that left-hand side that I, th- I think he's going to really be a statement in that squad. I want to see him succeed in Real Madrid. I want to see him succeed. And um, I think he's, he's he's that player, man. Look, I missed out on another stop, boy. Madridians, I'm sorry. Tishan is white. TG is white. That is a star player. We win yeah. in La Liga. We win in Ooh, Champions no. League. We're winning oh everything. God. It's us. It's our time. I'm bad with fans. Yes. The, I forgot. The, this man is deluded. I <laughs> forgot, man. I forgot. That's that's my bad. My bad, man. It's been it's been episode twenty six. Foe. Tishan, how you felt about today's episode, man? Uh, episode was killed, man. Episode was killed. This has been Foe. Episode yes, twenty six. I'm TG. That's KG, and we out. <laughs>